Hey y'all. I'm really um learning more about this Facebook thing. So I'm not gonna talk. Um I'm gonna be talking to you guys about that. Uh, so come on in. Come on in. If you are a 1099, put 1099 in the comments like this video share this video i'm gonna give some people some time to come in because i'm gonna say this and then that's gonna be that i'm not gonna repeat myself um if you got a side hustle do i need to find my attack file my taxes hey T um tiandra how you doing are you uh do you have a side hustle or do you get a 1099 if you know anyone with a small business anyone you need to tag them in this video so I can help them understand what they need to be doing for taxes. Um, I'm aware that a lot of tax offices are not willing to complete your Schedule C's if you're not organized. We will help you get organized. Um, it's going to cost you, but next year it won't cost you as much because you're going to be already organized. Because as our clients, we're going to get you on the right track. Um, IRS is cracking down on this so we're gonna talk about what needs to be done if you have a side hustle and if you need to file your taxes so I'm gonna just jump right to it um, I'll probably pull this video and put it back up or redo it um, with production but either way I'll put it the information back out so here's the deal if you have a side hustle doing hair babysitting, um, washing cars, whatever it may be, and you are not an employee. So a lot of times I think some of y'all get get it um, mixed up. And you're not an employee, then you are a contractor. So what a 1099 contractor is, it means that you control the time. You control how you make your money. So if you are working for someone and they're telling you you need to be at work at 9 or from 9 to 5, you are not a contractor because you are this is you are an employee. They're telling you what you need to do. You work for them. But if you're like a contractor, so like I have, um, how can I make it simple? Okay, I have a nanny, right? She offers nanny services. She also offers driving service so i have two contracts with this lady i have a nanny contract with this lady and i also have a driving contract she drives me everywhere um when i'm going out of town or i gotta speak somewhere she's my driver so i have to pay her for that which is a business expense she's not just driving me just because when she drives me is is business related so i have two contracts with her but i also have um a w9 on her so at the end of the year, because I pay her more than $600 a year, I have to give her a 1099. I pay her $1,000 a month. So I have to give her a 1099 for those services from my business. I only have childcare is um, because I needed to run my business. So those are business expenses. So that's what you do. But say, for instance, you're, you're not someone that qualified for the company to give you a 1099 or... They should have given you a 1099, but they didn't report it. You are still responsible for reporting it. You should have been keeping track of your income and your expenses all throughout the year. Or a bookkeeper does that for you. But as we know, a lot of y'all don't want to pay for a bookkeeper. I don't know why, but y'all shooting yourself in the foot by not doing this. It's called being a responsible adult, a responsible business owner. And you should have somebody doing your books and looking at your books every month. And you should be looking at your um, statements every month if you're really trying to grow a business. But that's neither here or there. If you're making money on the side, I don't care if they're paying you cash, they're paying you under the table, or whatever it may be, you need to file your taxes with that income. Because eventually it can catch up with you. And you don't want that to catch up with you. Also, if you're a 1099 at someone's job and you know for a fact you're an employee, don't let them rob you. Go and tell them, look, bruh, you require me to be here at this time, this time. I ain't signed no contract with you saying that this is the terms and this is what we agree on. I'm a worker. You gave me the wrong form. 
And if they don't fix that, you can report them. So y'all got to be really smart about what you need to be doing if you have a hobby and or you make sh like I say, it's a side business. You making shirts, you um washing cars, you cleaning houses, you babysitting, you you singing at someone's events for a fee. Those are additional income for the year. And yes, you do need to file them because it is subject to tax. If you need help, please let me know. Like this video, share this video, tag a business owner in the comments. Okay, guys, that is my little spiel. I'll probably go more into detail in group. If you're not in my group, you might want to get in my private tax, tax support and tax tip group so you can get more information. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later.